hey everyone welcome to my channel and i hope you are doing well and uh, let's talk about something which is a part of a controversy already and that is that flutter is dying flutter is being forked and now flutter is being called flock things like that a lot of things are happening on twitter on social media around flutter and uh, everyone has their perspective everyone is sharing their opinion so because a lot of people reached out to me and uh, they were asking that what i think about it is flutter really dying what is the future of flutter should we learn flutter or not should we look for a new job in a different profile a lot of questions like that came to me and uh, that's where i felt that because i have been a part of the flutter community from i think the beginning itself i started my flutter journey back in 2016 17 and uh, since then i have been doing lot of things on flutter I have created a lot of tutorials. So yeah, coming back to the main point, uh, there is a new fork of Flutter called Flock and there has been a lot of opinions about it, both positive and negative. That's one thing. Second is that um, because that particular post or that particular fork has gained a lot of uh, visibility on social media, so um, that has created a lot of chaos inside the flutter community itself and then a lot of uh, people from react native communities and other communities came and they started saying that oh flutter is dying uh, flutter has uh, already died in fact so things like that are happening so what is happening so obviously there are some difficulties which couple of people felt uh, with the flutter ecosystem not just couple of people maybe other people might have the similar kind of opinion that it's very difficult to get their PR merged to the main Flutter repo and as you know Flutter is an open source uh, framework so everyone can contribute and uh, because it's an open source framework but it's a commercial project as well in my opinion because there are a lot of uh, dependencies on the Flutter team which is a part of Google so it's not just an open source uh, project it is also backed by a company that is Google and because of that they have a lot of protocols right which they have to follow and they cannot just, uh, you know, if you'll give a PR, they cannot directly just merge it. And uh, they might have limitations in terms of their teams, in terms of the size of the team, in terms of financial support and things like that. So a uh, lot of people are not really happy about the, um, maybe the speed of the merging which is happening or about the decision making which Flutter team is taking in terms of, um, you know, getting a uh, like deciding like what PRs to merge, what PRs to not merge and things like that. So um, because you can't do much about it as a as an outsider or maybe as, as a just a developer. So they thought about creating something new, which is Flock, okay, which is a fork of Flutter. So basically if there will be a fork because it's an open source project, so this fork can contain anything, right? you can merge as many PRs as you want. So in terms of idea, I think they can do it. Yeah, and they are already doing it. And I don't see a point of controversy, right? Now there could be two things. One is either it will fail and uh, I mean, anything can fail. It's just uh, sometimes you'll have to try something, right? So they tried something and couple of folks came and uh, they tried something. It may fail, it may not fail, but even if it fails, nobody cares right and even if it doesn't fail then it's good for the community maybe you will have always an option to try something new uh, so i think see there are two groups of people one is who are just you know going to social media they are not developing anything but they have to just bash flutter or anything like that so you the, you should just ignore those people first of all second are those who have been actively involved in development using flutter they have been building apps, they have been doing a lot of work and they might have a lot of pain points, right? So once you have a lot of pain points, you care about your pain points. You make decision whether you have to use this technology or not because if your pain points are not getting solved, then either you will find a solution yourself or you will directly ditch it, right? But it can be a situation where you have already heavily invested into something and now there is no other option, right? Like ditching the platform or things like that. So you need alternate solution. So let's say your PR is not getting merged. For example, you found an issue, you want to do a PR, your PR is not getting merged. So you have only one option. You will fork that repo and you will do something on the top of it. 
it's a similar thing what you do with any package or plugin right so i think that in that case flock if it becomes a success could be a good th thing for you right if you think from that perspective second is that does it directly impact flutter i don't think so so now you got this idea that what is flock why it is being done and this is my opinion again if the creators of flock has different opinion they can come and they can definitely explain their uh, opinion you are welcome on my channel and second thing is that uh, how they will do it so i that that also explained that it's just a fork there will be uh, maybe some community people who will try to maintain it again it's not an easy thing because if we are saying that flutter team is so small then this team is also very small and it's not very easy right but a little bit maybe flexibility you will get and independence you will get because again it's a community of uh, developers but then once something scales or once uh, something reaches to a point it becomes very difficult right so when flutter started it was not like this right but when you reach to a certain point when you reach to a certain position then obviously things becomes difficult you will have to apply a lot, lot of rules to maintain the quality to maintain uh, the uh, maybe reputation of that thing so a lot of things are there right and um third it was like why they are doing it it's obvious as i told you that when you have some pain points you want to fix it uh, by any means right so this is the entire thing is it any way like doing any harm to flutter maybe because of how it is being marketed not from the creator itself but from the community or from the people who are just posting any bullshit on social media or maybe making videos out of it whatever right but i don't think it directly impacts flutter if you are happy with flutter you should not cons you should not be concerned about that anyway if you are not happy with flutter then obviously you can raise your points then why you would want something like that and why you would want um flutter team to get your attention right so i mean there is no harm in talking about your pain points that's why frameworks and all these technologies come into the picture now coming to the main point lot of people are thinking that uh you know this might kill flutter or flutter is going to die should i learn flutter or not see i again i am not a hater of any technology i think i i really like uh, react native as well i like uh, i used to like xamarin as well which is now ma ui i uh, i think every technology has a space in the market right and every technology is surviving because some people are using it and there is definitely some benefits of it maybe not for everyone but for some people who are using it so um i think flutter al also has a very good space it has been uh, growing very fast so i think that should not be your concern yes i really wish if there are a lot of open issues which are contributing to people's failure or a product's failure then those needs to be fixed those needs to be taken as priority by the flutter team and uh, i think if they will watch this video they will also take it as a feedback and if if i will get a chance i'll definitely give this feedback as well and i think a lot of people are already already giving this feedback that i can ensure you that you know um, there needs to be a lot of improvements with the community with the the approaches and things like that so again i mean i made this video just to make sure that you know you don't feel bad about it what is happening is social media social media anything can happen and uh, these kind of controversies keeps happening i really don't understand the point that why uh, people just engage in like like why they start taking things personal why they engage in a very abusive manner sometimes so that should not happen that's not how a community works i am totally against it i don't think that it is good as a community and i have seen that that flutter uh has been a very good community overall the flutter community in itself but with time i think because when once some once something scales then there could be some differences of opinions uh, differences of views so these things happen but i think uh, a better would maybe <laughs> a better way would be that uh, people come together people try to find a solution together uh rather than just uh, mock someone you should not uh, you know like try to uh, defame someone or things like that should not happen at least so i think we are good 
um, that's this video is about um, I think I wish like all the companies who are trying to do something good about something or let's say they want to fix a problem we should uh, always you know we should always try to motivate them to do something because if someone will do something then only something will be created if nobody will do anything then nothing will be created and at the same time i think uh, we should be thankful for to flutter team for giving us this kind of thing which we have been using lot of people have been getting jobs lot of people have been building their products lot of people have got success with it so that's it for this videos guys and uh, yeah spread love you know teach people you know mentor people and uh, i think just learn something new every day that's what i would say and should not it should never be dependent on any technology but technology is there to fix problems not to increase problems that's it from this video see you in the next one bye bye thank you